Start Pivot here, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to do sprite animations in Macromedia Flash MX 2004 or Macromedia Flash 8. So let's begin. Now, first, open your your spri your sprite sheet in a program. I have Macromedia Fireworks, and I'm going to use these four sprites to make Action Axon Ranger Red spin his little beam sword, his axe thing. His axe, it looks like a beam sword. So, let's begin. First you're going to open it up and you're going to go to insert new symbol movie clip. Make sure it is movie clip and do red spinning axe. Click OK and now go in here, get your little select tool, select it, and select the first one. Now click now press control and X and it will cut it. Actually, I think what you should do is uh you should do con control C just in case you need to reuse it. Okay, and then control V. Turn on your onion skin too, which is right here. And select it and move it to the center. And then go here and right click and click insert. Do insert. No, do insert blank keyframe. Now you can see that there's a faded image of them. That's the onion skin. Now go and select the second one. Copy. Paste. Now put it almost as right on top of it. Try and make sure that its feet are in the same place. Let me zoom in more on it. There we go. That's good. Now do insert blank keyframe again, which is the um, hotkey is F7. Select. Copy. Paste. I want to erase that too. Won't erase. Okay. Um, next frame. Copy. Paste. Trying to get this in the least amount of time. Okay. Now that you've done all four frames, go back to scene one, and then where is it? Click con hold Control and L. And here you will see everything. You'll have all four bitmaps, but you'll also have the red spinning axe. And there's your animation. And it will loop, and it will look perfect. Once you drag it to the timeline, you might want to resize it. And then click Control Test Movie. And there you go. Um, if it looks a little shaky like this, then you want to edit it and a little bit more and do that. The way you can edit it is right-click it and click Edit. And then look where he comes off. See, he moved down a bit. It's right there. It's tedious work, but after a while, you'll get the hang of it. A tiny bit, like one pixel up. One pixel to the left, one pixel up. About two pic two pixels to the left then. And that might be a little bit better. See there you go. Now that looks a lot better. So after that, all you have to do is when you want to stop an animation, go to another one. 
you go here and you add more keyframes and then on the next keyframe you delete it and you add a new one here I hope this has been a helpful tutorial this is Dart Pivots out